Hey, so today I'm planning on making a track for my YouTube channel. Um, I make all the background music for my channel just because I like the idea of having a channel that is all my own content. Um, I don't think it's a bad thing to use other people's background music at all, but I'm just, I just make my own because it's fun and I like to do it. And I thought that I'd show you my process today. Um, generally I start off with a vague idea, so I just have this like little chord thing on the ukulele that I want to record. Um, so I'm going to record that, and I've already made the, the beat, um, and I've done that by combining three different, there's two drum machines and one drum kit. I'm using Logic Pro X, by the way, um, and I'm just using the sample libraries and instruments that came with that program, and I am I just chose sounds that I liked and put them together. So disclaimer, if you can't tell already, I'm definitely not a professional at this. This is a hobby that I'm trying to get better at, um, but people are very curious as to how I do this, so I am going to try and show my process and thoughts behind this. And now I'm going to record the ukulele and I want it to be just a bar of that chord that I loop over and over again. Like I I don't want it to sound natural at all. I want to sound like it's looping. I want to sound like it's a loop basically. All right, so I just did a take then. And I'm gonna see if any of them are worth using. Somebody just started their mower, which is great. Okay, so I have recorded that now. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and EQ it and add some like reverb and stuff so that it sounds better. Um, I usually don't have like a specific way that I EQ stuff. I usually cut out the higher frequencies because where I live, there's a lot of bugs and you can always hear them in my recordings. Like even if I close all my windows, you can always hear the bugs. So that's the reason that a lot of my stuff is very like old timey sounding, I suppose. So instead of it sounding like this, it's gonna sound like this. I haven't done it yet, so I don't know what it's gonna sound like, but it's gonna sound like this. So I do want this to sound pretty, chill isn't really the right, right word, but I want it to be very simple and very like loop based um, because I am making this for the purpose of it being in the background. I don't want this to be the main piece of whatever I am going to use it for, um, but I am going to record another lot of chords on the ukulele just to break it up a little bit. I just went to grab my guitar from under my bed and this is what I see. That's a cat foot. Fuji. I have music that I need to make. Please vacate the area. Fuji, I need my guitar. There you go, you can... Here. This is my electric guitar. As you can see, it has beautiful handmade custom stickers. So this is an Econ guitar. And if you're thinking, hmm, I've never heard of an Econ guitar before, it's because I got it off eBay for very cheap, like five years ago. But you know, it does the job. Okay, got my electric guitar and I was just playing around with this. I just realized you probably can't even really hear that, but you'll hear it when I record it, so. <laughs> I've just written the bass line for the first set of chords. It's really simple. I think it's like five different notes. Um, I really love exciting complex bass lines, but 
I'm not experienced enough in writing them to attempt them myself. Like, some people are really good at writing bass lines that sound correct, but they're really exciting and fun, but um, I can't do that. So this is a very simple bass line. I can read sheet music, but I don't use it when I'm writing these types of songs. Um, so I'll show you what we're working with. So what I will do is I'll just listen. <clears throat> Uh, it's so hard to explain. I'm just going to think of something that will probably sound alright and really simple, just something to add a lower end to this song. Okay. So now I've been listening to it, um, finishing the bass line, slightly EQing stuff, just minor things here and there, and um, I, like my process now, I'm thinking it needs some kind of voice or sample, it needs something like twinkly, I, I don't know what that is, like either a bell or a harp or some kind of synth that's really high, not, yeah, I don't know, it needs something just every now and then. Um, like when I'm listening to it, I'll show you where I want what I want to put in. I don't know how I'm gonna get it, but this is what I want to do. What? <laughs> so, you know what I mean? It just needs something like a, a word, like legs. Oh, yeah. Okay. Shh. I'm just like shh. Maybe I'll add that there. Shh. Um, okay. How will we swim with the fish dies? Okay, well, that wasn't a very successful record, but I just had the idea that <laughs> this is gonna sound really weird. In order for me to understand what I need to do to further the song, I imagine it in a movie, and then I'm like, what's the movie about? And how can I relate it to the movie? So I just thought of the movie idea for this one, and it's a mermaid, a siren, if you will. She's luring someone to their death. I know that's really weird, but that's the vibe that I get. Or like, I just, I imagine that this is an underwater ocean song. It's kind of ominous, kind of fun. Swimming with the fishes, that's where I got that. I was like, mermaids, luring people to their death, swimming with the fishes, fish, ocean. Sand on the floor, salt all around, bubbles above, sleeping with the fishes. I have to call this song Sleeping with the Fishes because I say sleeping with the fishes a lot. I just wanted to make a little side note that when I sing for these types of tracks, I don't like, I sing in like the least offensive way possible. So I'll be really like, sleeping with the fishes. Whereas it, when I'm singing, I feel like I don't sing like that at all. Like if I actually sang it, it would, instead of being like, salt on the sand on the ground, it'd be like, salt on the But that doesn't translate as well into these tracks. Like, I want them to be very chill, so I'm not gonna belt fishes! You know? <laughs>
If you'd like to use any of my background music tracks in your own videos, all you have to do is become one of my Patreons. Um, Patreon is just a way of supporting creative people that you like, but if you become a $3 a month patron of mine, um, I post download links, free download links for my tracks as I make them. You will also gain access to an album of five songs that I've already made, um, and you'll get the license to use that in your own videos, pretty much. I'm gonna go sit in the air conditioning now because it's like 36 degrees or something. Oh, before I go, if you just want to listen to the track for free, it's on my SoundCloud and you can just stream it whenever you like. Um, see you later. See you later.